What's up guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about my journey from a hoarder to a minimalist and the before and after and overall my thoughts on minimalism. The beginning of the story. So, growing up, I didn't really know why our house was so full of stuff and why we had a lot of, and I mean, I was fortunate to get a lot of stuff on Christmas, but I wasn't, I didn't really know that it was a problem. I could just thought it was normal. But as I got older, I started to realize that we did have a problem. The problem was that we had a good amount of stuff, but we kept getting more stuff in search of fulfilling a need like I'll get after I get this TV I'll be happy oh I need those new pair of shoes then I'll feel good about myself oh I need to get this it will definitely impress my friends little did we know that this urge to get new stuff was really an underlying insecurity that we weren't enough as is but over time as I learned and I grew started to realize that we are enough as is and once we have our basic needs met clean clothes shelter food not having to worry about money too much and doing what we enjoy for the most part and having the freedom to choose then not that much stuff is really going to bring you the fulfillment you're seeking but what will most likely bring you happiness is working on yourself mentally and physically, building good relationships, connecting and laughing with people, building valuable skills in the marketplace, and really just making progress towards a better future in your life. Overall, building yourself up into a true alpha male. But let me take you back to the beginning of my minimalist journey. Eventually, I moved into my dad's room, which is this room right here, and he moved into another room in the house. We got most of the stuff moved into the other room, and in the process, we threw out a lot of junk, and really, my dad was the hoarder here, because it was really just hard for him to part with stuff. Then, over 2019 was when I really started to shift. I stopped caring so much about stuff, and really just started to uh, seek more experiences and fun things and this is also when I started meditating and let me tell you that the feeling I get from meditating and deeply connecting with myself is a better feeling than most things in life including getting some cool new thing or like a car or whatever but I mean I'm not like against getting new stuff I'm kind of the type of person like if it isn't broke don't fix it so that's just my philosophy. You don't have to adopt that, but that's just how I view things. And for Christmas that year, I literally didn't really want anything, but my dad still got me stuff because that's kind of how, I don't know, he shows that he cares and stuff. And my birthday is literally right after Christmas, January 4th. And I didn't want much for my birthday because like Christmas just happened and I mean, it, before in the past, I would have expected a lot of gifts, but now my mindset had changed and I'm more success oriented and I wanted to get this course to help me get started on YouTube and really grow my YouTube channel. The course wasn't cheap, but my dad got it for me anyway. And I'm really grateful that he did because it's helped me get started on here and make videos that have grown my channel for sure. He also got me this stupid telescope right. that I really didn't even want. Not to say I didn't appreciate it or anything, I just haven't really used it or had a purpose for it. I've been trying to sell it recently. But unfortunately, at the start of 2020, right after he got me the course and my birthday and everything, he passed away from a heart attack. And a few weeks after, I was diving into this book on sleep, and I found out that the less sleep you get, you have, and the older you are, the chances of like health problems really goes through the roof. So if you'd like to learn more about that, go ahead and grab Matthew Walker's book, Why We Sleep. But anyway, after he passed away, we got rid of a lot of his stuff. It was hard going through all his stuff and throwing it away. Like we filled up a big ass dumpster, just full. Now I don't think it was all his stuff, but a lot of his stuff that he had accumulated over the years. And even my mom, I might ask her and include her in a little bit of this video, 
will attest to him being a hoarder even before she met him. But it really felt nice getting rid of all that stuff, having room in the garage for two cars, having in the other room, there's a weight room, and it used to be half full of just random kind of junk and clothes and whatever, but now the whole weight room is pretty much open and I work out in there pretty much daily. And overall, just more space around the house. And that pretty much brings us to where we are today. I still have a good amount of stuff, but I keep it pretty simple with my wardrobe. And if it was up to me, we probably would have a lot less stuff in this house. But I live with my family and I gotta run stuff by them before I get rid of anything. But I do consider myself a minimalist, even though I live with people who I wouldn't really consider minimalist. But when I move out of here, I will definitely have joy in donating, selling, and overall getting rid of stuff that doesn't serve a purpose in my life. Minimalism is about an intentional search for happiness. I feel like this quote is very true for me, at least, because in getting rid of all this stuff over the last few years, it and searching for happiness elsewhere, I definitely feel more happy, healthy, and wealthy. Are you a minimalist or are you thinking about changing up your lifestyle to make it more minimalistic? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. But if you have, I appreciate you. And if you'd like to get notified when I upload content to this channel, then just hit that little bell icon. You know what to do. But anyways, I'm going to head out of here and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.